I'm currently on a gluten-free, dairy-free, soya-free, sugar-free, corn-free diet. I'd be lying if I said I'm not nervous um, in terms of how my body's going to respond. Low-rise jeans and my orange feelers. This is the look, this is the fit. So happy! I just feel like my body is finally getting stronger. <sighs> just grateful and thankful to God. I'm not being funny, but this is giving a wife. Are you seeing this? Oh my god, it comes with little goggles to put on your eyes. That's cute. Oof. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll work. Wow, that's bright. Hmm. This actually kind of goes hard. This is actually mad expensive. Why is being so healthy so expensive in this country? <laughs> what are you saying, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, firstly, I'm going to start this by saying, if you haven't seen my last video, check that one out before you watch this because otherwise this one you're gonna be like what the hell happened they'll be like what the hell if you watch the last one you'll get all the backstory you'll understand everything that's going on because this is kind of like a continuation but it's like a different it's, it's a vlog basically this is hi welcome to a vlog <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the last video, I've basically explained what's been going on in my life, where I've been, uh, why I've gone so quiet for the last like few months. This is now like present day vlog of my current life because if you've watched my last video, you'll understand that I'm going through a healing phase right now like a physical body healing so not like the hill with me which was like mental emotional healing this is like my physical body healing i don't really know what i'm gonna have called this whole series of videos because hill with me actually sounds perfect but not to be confused with my actual hill with me series anyway 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 i digress i am gonna be documenting my healing phase my healing era with you as you guys know because i'm assuming that you know because i'm assuming that you've paused this video gone to watch the last one and now you have resumed this one cool i have been suffering with really bad health for the last few months and it has stopped me from being able to film even being able to edit most of the time um which is why i've been so quiet and then i thought you know what i don't need to be quiet i can film and create content about what i'm going through right now i started sharing this journey on my instagram if you guys don't follow me on insta i've been really really active and vocal about what i've been going through over there so definitely check that out if you want like day-to-day -day updates just like daily updates with what's going on with me basically um and I got such a positive response from sharing it with you guys and it just felt so good. It felt amazing sharing all of that. I just had so much love and support from you guys and also so many of you who were in actually very similar positions, asking for advice, asking for like tips and things that I've been trying and things I found have been helping my skin and my healing. And then I thought, right, let's take this a step further. Let's just, let's just make like a series of YouTube videos. I didn't want to make TikTok videos or YouTube reels. Um, youtube reels or instagram reels because i wanted something more in depth where i can actually talk to you about everything that i'm discovering everything i've learned all the research i've done and short form content is not the way forward for that so this is going to be i'm basically just going to document like the rest of my healing journey i wish i had started this earlier i'll be honest i really really wish i had because i've been going through this for a long time i am by no means at the start of the journey um however i feel like this may be a long-term recovery. So I'm gonna keep this going as like a healing check-in type of thing. Um, I'm just gonna be sharing with you what I'm doing. Um, essentially, this is like a day in my life, but it's not gonna be a day. It's gonna be over like a continuous period of time. I'm not sure how long, but it's gonna be what my current life looks like. That's what I'm gonna be vlogging with you guys, but it's gonna be very real. It's gonna be very open very 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 raw like my skin <laughs> and i just i just want to share i just want to go on this journey with you guys basically so that that's what this is it'll make me feel better selfishly also if you're going through it then i hope that it will make you feel like you're supported and you're not the only one going through it because this has been the most isolating feeling i've ever experienced in my life i thought it doesn't have to be that way though and if i'm feeling that and i have the most incredible support system around me and if even i feel that with the people that i love around me then imagine the people that maybe aren't as lucky with their support system imagine how they must be feeling so this is officially a safe space we are going to be talking about all things supporting each other i want the comments to be a very very supportive encouraging community i want to create that 
with these videos. I want the comment section to be 100% real, 100% honest, 100% trusted. I just want to create a really, really safe space. So feel free to drop any feelings, any comments, any thoughts, anything in the comments. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna create a community here. We're gonna support each other. We've got this. If you're going through any kind of health issue, which is even if it's completely different to what I'm documenting here. It doesn't matter because the essence of it is you are trying to heal in some way you're trying to heal your body you're trying to change your life your lifestyle everything and um sometimes it feels good to watch other people doing the same kind of thing it makes you feel like you have a form of support through it that you're not doing it by yourself because you're not that's the truth you're not so that is the intro i actually got a new flare up on my eyes the lighting right now is making it not look actually as bad as it does look in person i will insert a picture here um, I was actually doing really well and my eyes were starting to heal and I've been in the house for um, about three weeks. The furthest I'd gone was just very short trips to my high street and then in the last week or so I started going for short trips to the gym. So I've been staying in the house because as you guys know I've been getting triggered quite a lot from things that I don't understand and I don't know. So I thought okay I'm literally going to stay in a bubble and the bubble is going to be my house. I'm just going to stay in and allow my body to gain the strength it needs to like get back to a stronger place. It just has less risk you know. And yesterday I went to um, I went to a brand event. I went to a new era um, gifting day, which side note was sick. I did vlog it for TikTok as well. Um, I had the best day. I hadn't done anything for myself or gone out and, or enjoyed myself in such a long time. And I went and I did that yesterday and I have no regrets because I had the best day. It was like a solo date day and I loved it. But I woke up today with my eyes flared up um and they weren't 100 percent healed anyway nothing is currently 100 percent healed it's getting there it's a it's a it's a journey but basically it, i don't want to say it took me back because it didn't it's still a step forward and it's still part of my healing journey but um it re-aggravated um my eyes basically i'm also a little bit nervous in terms of let, let's just be candid here because i have tickets to go see burner boy in concert tomorrow gang gang very excited um but I'm really scared because I literally just left the house yesterday and just being out of the house flared me up and I don't like my immunity I've been told is very low and my body is in a heightened state in a very sensitive state and tomorrow was obviously a concert but I have I have like a game plan I'm gonna drive there drive back so I'm not exposed to things outside I'm obviously just gonna be drinking water I'm gonna take some food with me because I'm currently on a uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, soya-free, sugar-free, corn-free diet. I can't really eat out. Um, and we are standing, which probably also doesn't help. But we're going to get there a little bit late, like just in time for when Burner comes on and it will be fine. Even yesterday, you know, in all honesty, when I left the house, like, I felt like I was doing something illegal. Just being out of the house, like, it just felt like I shouldn't be doing it. And it almost, like, started to develop a bit of, like, a like a phobia of like being outside and I don't even want to manifest that I don't want to say that but I'd be lying if I said I left the house and I felt like yeah I feel like myself again like this is amazing I felt like myself you know I put on a fire fit and I I accessorized and I brought my jewelry back and it felt more I felt more like me but I felt I felt anxious I didn't feel like it felt really strange being out like I shouldn't be doing this um which is actually really sad but yeah so I am a little bit anxious for tomorrow but i'm going to be surrounded by people that i love i'm going with two of my best friends jess and rachel you guys know them just going to remind myself I'm, I'm around good people i'm safe and i've got the car and everything will be fine and i'm going to enjoy myself i haven't done something for myself fun in so long before yesterday like so long so i'm um, it's going to be a good day it's going to be a really good day hi so today is the 29th of june and today i'm going to see burner boy in concert and i other than the day before yesterday haven't left the house in about three weeks further than like my local high street and this is the first time i'm like meeting up with friends in i don't know how long so i thought i would show some of like the precautions that i'm taking to try and avoid a flare up tomorrow morning so i'm currently doing like another layer of my emollient creams um just on like my affected areas just to provide an extra kind of barrier and I'm going to be taking quite a lot of this stuff with me as well. We're going to be driving there and driving back so that I can just like keep loads of stuff in the car should I need it. I've also 
made some food like a pack lunch to take i'm gonna be out from like four o'clock until 11 p.m so i'm taking like some stuff with me in case i get hungry i've been taking like eye drops with me cotton pads uh vaseline my emollient creams antihistamines um anything that i think there's a chance i could possibly need or want and i think like throughout while i'm out i'm just going to keep using my eye drops as well just like keep remembering to do that that is kind of the plan that's what i'm doing i'm gonna i've come up with my outfit i'm gonna do like my hair real cute in a minute and i'm gonna wear like some cute like sunglasses and just like it's gonna be like a fashion fit type of vibe you know i want to be comfy as well so i've tried to be careful about like what i'm wearing like not wearing like a material that i think is gonna like necessarily irritate me so let's see i'd be lying if i said i'm not nervous um in terms of how my body's gonna respond i'm gonna be fine i'm manifesting that i will be completely fine i'm gonna have the best evening ever i'm gonna really enjoy myself and tomorrow i'm gonna be healthy and i'm gonna be looking great and everything is gonna be so much fun i'm really looking forward to for my mental health to have tonight like just be with the people that i love so much for the stress side of things and the anxiety like all of those things are really bad for when you're trying to heal and for skin things in general so i think it's going to really help my stress levels and my anxiety levels just like going out doing something social so i'm excited i'm gonna go get ready now because i've got like half an hour to get ready so wish me luck i love you guys and i'll i'll see you in a bit okay i just wanted to show you the look real quick before i leave this is what we are rocking with today you can't see the bottom half but i'm in like low rise jeans and my orange feelers so this is the look this is the fit i'm feeling cute and that feels really good anyway i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow good morning i'm saying good morning i think it's like 4 p.m not gonna lie um but i am so happy because my eyes are actually not any worse than before last night i mean they look a little bit red right now but they were still kind of recovering anyway and i'm just so happy guys that i didn't react like i was able to enjoy myself without any repercussions like i'm just so grateful so grateful to god so grateful just like i just feel like my body is finally getting stronger i'm on a high like mentally and emotionally right now i just feel so up because i'm so grateful that i've not had a reaction like i just this feels like a huge milestone a huge turning point like just progress i'm still gonna stay in for the most part and i'm not gonna like have any crazy motives like that again not for a while so i'm just i'm just really happy i'm just really really happy i just took my um let me show you what i've been taking recently so i'm gonna start seeing a herbalist um next week and she recommended for me to take these echinacea drops like mix them with water and it's supposed to be really good for immunity so i've been taking this it says like two to three times a day so i just took my first dose now and i'm making some food i'm gonna insert a picture of the breakfast that i made yesterday because that's what i'm having again it's basically like boiled eggs and some fruit and veg on the side i've also been having sea moss recently guys um because i know it's supposed to be really good but you've kind of got to be consistent with it every day and i tried it a while ago but i wasn't consistent with it so i i didn't i didn't give it a fair shot to actually see any um positive results so i'm on like my third jar because they last like three weeks or two three weeks um yeah so i'm i'm getting there I'm working on that too. What else have I done this morning? I'm currently in the process of making my dinner for tonight. I'm gonna make some corn because this is made of mycoprotein. There's no soya in it. Um, I didn't realize it's literally just like fungi. Like I, I had no idea. And the ingredients are not too bad either. I've been trying to keep everything very clean. This is the first processed food that I've had in a really long time. Um, I was completely cutting out processed foods, but my diet is currently so limited that I wasn't getting enough nutrition. So now that I've realized that I can eat some corn products because some of them are gluten free and vegan I can basically just like ex expand my um like diet a little bit so really happy about that so i'm gonna make almost like a curry type of thing with these corn pieces i'm gonna be doing so many cooking videos on tiktok soon guys just bear with me um i'm using the via life cream cheese to make it like that thick kind of creamy consistency and some coconut milk a 
England are playing in the Euros today, so that's at five, so I'm trying to have everything kind of ready because it's actually just hit four. I made these a few days ago because I'm, I just, oh, I haven't told you guys, I actually found out recently that I'm low-key allergic to potato. I say low-key because it's not like a high-grade allergy, but it is still classed as an allergy. Not even an intolerance, an actual allergy, because I had a lot of allergy testing done recently and it came back with loads of stuff, not going to lie. Like, I, I feel like I need to sit down and tell you about that separately because I found out I'm allergic to potato, rice soya strawberries oranges celery peanuts hazelnuts this the list goes on like so many things tomato oh my god which is like the base for every curry so that's why like obviously being indian i'm like oh my god what the hell but anyway because i can't have like crisps or anything for a snack i made these like cassava crisps in the air fryer and they're really good i season them with salt chili powder and garlic and it's honestly really really freaking good so i might make some more but not like in a crisp but like softer as like a snack that's where we're at currently i will show you my food once i've made it see you in a bit okay so this is my like brunch so we've got some boiled eggs with like just like so much seasoning because you know standard blueberries raspberries cucumber and then these are like these buckwheat crisp breads and then I grated some vegan cheese and it's microwaved and then I got corn slices like the chicken slices the vegan ones and I put one slice on each I'm gonna try this because I had it yesterday but I didn't melt cheese um so let's see how it is hmm it's good I think I prefer it non-melted. So good though. I'm not being funny, but this is giving a wife. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this, guys? Oh, this is actually gonna be banging. Okay, so it is the 1st of July today. Crazy, by the way. Um, and <sighs> update on the face. Look how much better it looks. Um, the eyes are healing i'm so happy like it's all healing really well i've actually been on a high for the last two days um because i'm just seeing the improvements and i'm seeing the progress and it's just like <laughs> words cannot describe words cannot explain how grateful i feel honestly like side note like i feel like this whole phase has made me connect with god and my faith so much more i know this isn't the kind of content everyone's going to appreciate and i won't go on about it for too long but i just oh my god like i you know, like, everything happens, happens for a reason. I've always been very connected to my faith. The way that I felt through this period, my relationship with God, I feel like has just strengthened so much. And I'm just like, ah, uh, it just feels amazing. It just feels amazing. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that too much. Okay, so I am finally going to open my red light panel. I have had this here, sitting here for about a month. Literally about a month. And even before that, I was tracking it like crazy to see when it was going to come because I wanted to try ASAP. But I don't think you're meant to like use it when you have an infection. And I had a skin infection which went on for 20 days. And I was on antibiotics which said no sun exposure, no sunbeds and stuff. So I thought this probably isn't the smartest. But today is finally the day and I'm so excited. So we're going to work this out together. I... I don't know. I don't know how this works. I can't remember what wavelength I need or how long you're supposed to use it for. Side note, if you have any kind of health condition, even if you are the picture of perfect health, like I would encourage you so much to look into the health benefits of red light therapy. Like it genuinely looks insane. I've been raving about it to all my close ones, everyone in my life, like, you need to get this, you need to get this. I feel like I am now never going to stop using this once I start for the rest of my life. And I want to invest in, like, a full body size one um, in, like, my future home and, like, 1,000%. But for now, because um, they are, they are like, kind of pricey. I think I got mine for about £200 or, like, maybe, like, 180 or something like that, which is actually really good. I got the brand Helios and I did a lot of research before because there's a lot of brands out there. You'll find a lot of cheaper ones, but they're not all like legit or effective. So definitely do like a fair amount of research. Um, they come in different sizes, different wavelengths. So make sure you know what wavelength you need for the particular condition you're trying to target as well. So it's supposed to be incredible for body inflammation, which is literally eczema. Um, skin regeneration as well. 
um, and collagen production, obviously that's all skin as well. Um, and it just overall speeds up the process of, of your body healing. So even it closes up wounds faster, like everything is supposed to help eyesight, like all over body, like your full health. I obviously focused more on the things that are more of a concern for me right now. So like stuff to do with inflammation and skin healing and like just body healing in general. And yeah, it just, I'm just so freaking excited guys. I'm so excited. This has infrared light and near infrared light. So basically it gives your cells more energy so they can perform their functions better. This is what it looks like. Let me get it out of the box. It's, it's bigger and heavier than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's let's take this one at a time. Oh my god, it comes with little goggles to put on your eyes. That's cute. Um, a clamp because I think you can hang it up. I don't know how I plan on using this. To be honest, we're going to figure it out. It's fine. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay. This is heavy. Okay. This is she, this is her, my new baby. This is heavy. Not me thinking I'm gonna be traveling with this for like the rest of my life whenever I go on holiday because it needs consistent everyday use to like see the benefits. Um, but yeah, that, that would take up the whole weight of my suitcase. Um, I got, I can't remember which one. So there are two separate switches, one for the deep red and one for the near infrared. So deep red is like lower, so that's 660 nanometers i believe oh okay okay so red and near infrared so we want i believe red huh okay let me figure this out it's been about an hour um and i haven't done the red light yet we're gonna do that when we get back in but I remembered that I needed to run out and grab a few bits. So I'm gonna bring you with me. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna get probiotics, gluten-free bread, loads of cool yummy stuff. Let's go. Also, the fit like Loki goes hard. I got these Ali G glasses from Urban a few days ago and I just put on this tee because I'm wearing only cotton at the moment. And I was like, hmm, this actually kind of goes hard. So this is the fit. This is what we're stunting. Um, we're gonna head now. And I will catch you when we get inside. Okay, I don't think the coconut milk we needed is here, which is a bit annoying. I might check. I'll see what this one's saying. They all seem to have rice in and I'm allergic to rice. Oh yeah, rice, never mind. That was short-lived. I found the um, gluten-free oats, but it's kind of spenny for this size, you know. God, you know those buckwheat um, flatbreads I was showing you guys the other day? It's the same brand. I'm kind of curious as to what else they have, you know. I'm looking for cauliflower rice, but I don't know, like, it's not in their freezer section, but I don't know if it's a freezer thing. Okay, let's go get the supplements because at least that I know there definitely is here. Like, they definitely have it. Cauliflower rice, I'm like, low-key just guessing. I just assume they would have it here. Okay, this is the brand we're looking for. Look how many there are. It's actually mad. So I'm just trying to scan for the probiotics that my herbalist told me to get, but it's a very specific one. We got it guys, we got it. Okay, next we need quinoa. This is actually mad expensive. Why is being so healthy so expensive in this country? Six pounds 60. Can we deep that please? Um, anyway, gotta do what you gotta do. Take the L. Oh my God, I found cauliflower rice. <gasps> oh my God, I found it. Rice cauliflower. Oh my god, this is so exciting. 100% cauliflower, that's what we like to see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Stay tuned, we're gonna make this. Next, let's see if we can find some gluten-free bread, which I can actually eat, because all the ones i found so far, there's other ingredients that I can't eat. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Everything has rice flour in it, guys. This might be a no- Oh, 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 there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's, more. there's so much more. I think I've checked some of these in my local organic shop, but let's go through them and see if we can find something. Okay, that's a no on gluten-free bread, but it's okay. It's still successful. So we're gonna check out and head back home. I am so in a burner boy mood after the concert. You know how that happens whenever you like go see someone live and it just like sparks like a fresh dose of obsession with the person again. Activated a fresh obsession with some songs. But this one right here. Always. This has been a favorite for so long. Yes, 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 yes. Whew. So 
sorry guys. I'm gonna have to put you down. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I'm finally about to do the light. I've done my research and I've decided, let me prop you up instead of holding you. Okay, I've decided <laughs> I'm gonna do both the red light and the near infrared light at the same time so you can pick basically the red light is for more surface level things so for inflammation of the skin wound healing or like skin concerns is red light but then the near infrared light um, basically penetrates deeper it's like joints muscles um bones all of that kind of thing and you can use both simultaneously and i just figured like why not let it do both you know so i can have additional health benefits from it as well as just the skin um so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put both of them on at the same time so i was thinking what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close my eyes while i do it and sit here and i'm gonna play like health affirmations on spotify and i'm gonna do some like health visualization while i do this i just thought it's the perfect way to do like a health focused meditation and to make sure I'm incorporating it in my daily routine because I'm going to be doing this every day without fail anyway and I just thought it fits really well so I've just had a little bit of a search on Spotify I found this one um, healing affirmations nurturing the body back to health um, so I'm gonna give it a go it's like a 28 minute one so I'm obviously just gonna do the first like 15 minutes I'll try it but I'll let you know if I like this one if it's a good one I can link it in the description of this video as well can you see is that good oh also when i was in the car guys um earlier i got really itchy on my arm and i scratched it and then it just like started weeping everywhere and i was like oh my god so i came home and i put like salt water cleansed it and then i put germaline on it so hopefully that's gonna be okay but at the moment it's like my skin all over all my affected skin is in that phase where even when it looks healed it's like if i give in and scratch it automatically starts weeping which makes me realize it's actually like a lot thinner or a lot more damaged than i thought even when it looks like it's it's healed so humbling definitely very humbling anyways let's plug this in oh i'm so excited i'm gonna line it up with you guys here first we'll just see i want it to cover preferably so i need my face neck chest and i'd like my arms in as well hopefully i can make that work let's let's try it we ready oh yeah that'll that'll work that'll work wow that's bright oh my god that's so good to see that like it's all in the zone this is good this is the 300 um watt one which supposedly is for targeted areas because it's a smaller size but that actually looks like it could fit like this positioning looks like it's gonna work quite well. Okay, I'm gonna chat to you guys afterwards. Um, I'm gonna do this now because I'm gonna get undressed and stuff because it, it works better when it's on just raw skin. So I'm gonna do all of that. I will talk to you after my first session. <laughs> guys, you will not believe what just happened. I fully fumbled. So I just finished my red light. I was feeling so peaceful, picked up my phone and I saw I had a message from my friend, my acupuncturist. And he was like, oh, like, are you coming for your session today? And I was like, oh my God. And I checked my calendar and lo and behold, I had an acupuncture session booked for eight o'clock and I didn't realize. So I'm literally on my way now. I just jumped out straight away. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I can come now or we can reschedule. And he was like, it's totally up to you. Like, it's all good. So I'm on my way, but this is great. I love seeing him. I love getting my sessions. They're actually um, like what I look forward to all the time. Up until recently, I've been doing monthly sessions for about two years now. Since like this recent episode, we've been doing, we've been testing out like weekly sessions and it's been really helping. Oh, I feel so bad. But anyway, um, I'll be there in like less than five minutes now, which is great bit of drama so i just grabbed the camera i was like okay let me update you guys um when i'm in the car but oh my god that red light it felt so oh it just felt so good um i'm actually i'm actually already so excited for tomorrow's session and like i just find it's i found it really peaceful um i found it really peaceful so yeah i'm looking forward to this becoming part of like my daily routine I think it's gonna be really good. I have high hopes, I have good feelings. The, 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 the uh, audio that I listened to, the um, affirmations was really good. I really liked it. It was like the same, I'd say five or six 
affirmations that were basically just repeated, which I like. I prefer when they repeat um, a lot rather than like coming up with new affirmations each time because I feel like it drums it in more. So um, it was good. I'll, I'll link it at the bottom of this video. Yeah, I'm going to listen to the same one again tomorrow. I really liked it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to I'm going to run now. Wow, that guy's full beam is really full beaming. Anyways, I'm a I'm a love you and leave you now. I will see you very soon. Oh my days, guys. What a day. What a last couple of hours. I literally just got home. It's like 10 to 10. Just finished my my um acupuncture session. And I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I went. Um, we actually focused treatments on my nervous system, like resetting my nervous system. He actually told me that he was thinking about our treatments over the weekend and he came up with that like idea to target my nervous system next. Because we're kind of trying things out. We're trying to like obviously help my skin and help what my body's going through right now. And he had that as an idea over the last few days. So um, it's so good that I win. We did like electrode acupuncture on my back and I definitely felt it and yeah, I feel really good right now. But I'm just starving now, I haven't eaten. We're gonna make that cauliflower rice, guys. You know the food I made yesterday, I'm pretty sure I showed you, the corn and spinach, the stuff that accidentally tasted like butter chicken, which by the way, is so banging. I had it in lettuce cups yesterday. I can't remember if I showed you that, I don't think I did. I had it in lettuce cups because I was out of quinoa and we didn't have any um, gluten-free rotlis. So I had that and it was really banging. It was really good. Now today I'm going to have, I obviously made a lot of it, so I'm going to have the rest of that. And the cauliflower rice that we got. I just remembered my acupuncturist um, was like, oh my god, you got your camera. Why have you got your camera? And I was like explaining that I was vlogging. He took some pictures of my back while the needles were in, but it was like when there was a current going on, basically. And he said it looked really cool. I haven't looked at the pictures yet, but slight trigger warning in case you don't want to see needles in my back. Um, but I'll insert a picture or a few pictures now so you can see what the treatment looked like, if you're curious. Trigger warning over. Okay, back to, um, back to the cauliflower rice. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days, it smells banging. It smells really good. Oh my god, it literally looks like rice. That's crazy. Oh, I'm excited. Guys, it literally looks like rice. This is wild. I hope you can see. I don't know what you lot saw then. I'll be real. Oh. Sorry, I know the lighting in here is really trash. So apologies for that. All right, let's do a quick taste test of this rice. I'm gonna have it by itself first. Cheers. That's not bad, you know. That's not bad. Yeah. It's like all right by itself, but when you eat it with something, which is what it's kind of for, bang in. Perfect. Does a job. All right, I'm going to go eat now, and then I'm probably going to head to sleep. So I'll catch you, um, I don't know, soon. <laughs> Love you guys.